What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'm bringing you another one of my best class setups and this is going to be one of my favourite classes to use to get high assault streaks. I made a lot of these back in November when Ghost first launched and uh, those are my initial impressions but now nearly after four months of playing the game I've learned a lot about what to use, what not to use and uh, things like that so I'm going to be making quite a few videos of these basically showing you uh, my best class setups, what I like to use, my favourite combinations of perks and weapons attachments and things like that. So if you want to check out my previous best class setup videos or see if I've uploaded some future ones, you can look in the playlist which is at the top of the description and there you find those videos. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you why I chose each part of the class. I'm going to be walking through each step and perk and attachment and why I chose the combination that I did. And if you wait till the end, after I've gone through it all, I'll show you the complete class setup all together. And in this gameplay, you'll also see my helo pile absolutely destroying the enemy and I get so many kills from it. So to get right into it, my primary of choice is a marksman rifle this is the mk14 with a suppressor and a red dot sight i really do love this weapon i'd encourage you guys to check it out and uh, even with the suppressor at medium range it's a one shot to the head and sometimes two to three to the body it's uh, one of the fastest killing weapons that isn't a sniper rifle or a shotgun up close and it's just got amazing damage amazing range and i really do like these uh, marksman rifles specifically the mk14 it's definitely one of my favorite weapons in the game and it's that one shot to the head that I really do love about this weapon. Sometimes if you see an enemy and they're not looking at you and uh, you kind of come up behind them or if they're looking a long way away, then uh, you can literally just aim once their head and just pop one bullet off and you'll be guaranteed that it'll get a one-shot headshot. Sometimes if you use a suppressor, if you're really far away, then it won't be a one-shot. It'll be maybe a two-shot. But uh, most of the time, it'll be a one-shot headshot, which is really good. So if you're really accurate, then you can get really quick kills and pretty much kill people in one-shot kills like a sniper rifle almost. But uh, of course, you Use any weapon that you're comfortable with and if you have any other suggestions or alterations you would make to this class, let me know by leaving a comment and uh, what your favourite classes are, how you would alter this one that I'm using. And uh, so as per usual, I don't use any secondaries or lethals or tacticals. I feel they're a waste of points to me, I don't really use them. But uh, onto the main part of this class, which is going to be the perks, and uh, this is definitely very important. I spent ages working out and deciding how is the best way to allocate these points, what is needed, what is not needed. So the perks I've selected are I believe absolutely essential and uh, none of them are just kind of for novelty for extra benefit they're all completely useful to win every gunfight to make sure that I'm handling my weapon properly so uh, first off we're going to go with sleight of hand obviously to reload faster I can't play without it I'm always in gunfights challenging multiple people at once so I need the ability to be able to reload quickly and be able to shoot again and be ready for that and then we also have quick draw similarly this is a very essential perk as well it lets you aim down sight faster so uh, if you have quick draw it's definitely a massive advantage and uh, then we have scavenger because this class is based around going on long kill streak so you need lots of ammo and I use this instead of fully loaded because I prefer the ability to have unlimited ammo and keep be able to run around and pick up these uh, bullet packs and, uh, and then we have focus which is again a very central perk and also one of the most underused perks not a lot of people use it and not a lot of people know what it does but it actually reduces the amount of flinch you get when you get shot so when you're in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with someone and they're landing bullets on you you normally Normally will jolt up and you'll be missing your shots. I see it all the time. People wonder why they lose gunfights and the bullets don't hit. But uh, focus is the key. It reduces your idle sway and also, more importantly, will stop you jolting off of aim when someone's shooting at you. So you can land shots on target and essentially kill them. And finally, we're going to go with hardline. I would never really use this perk, but uh, obviously in a high point streak or high kill streak class, we're going to need hardline. It's very effective to be able to need one less kill to be able to get your kill streaks and also. So in team games it's very useful because two assists counts as a kill which is an amazing feature so in team games you're going to get your streaks a lot faster if you happen to get some assists so those are the perks and then finally the streaks I like to use the Trinity at six kills with hardline it's pretty easy to get the two kills needed to be able to get the next one which is the battle hind and uh, this isn't too good it takes a while to get into the map and when it does it will only get two or three kills sometimes but it's definitely better than all the other options in my opinion the assault streaks and ghosts aren't that aggressive but uh, Battle Hind is definitely a good companion in this setup. And then uh, it'll also distract the enemies while you're on the ground killing them. And they'll be looking up, trying to figure out where it is, trying to get away from it. And maybe they'll go into buildings where you can sneak in and start taking them out while they're hiding from it. And uh, I do like that streak quite a bit. And then obviously, of course, we're going to go with the Helo Pilot. This is one of my favorite streaks in the game. And I really do like to go for it. I'm also keen on the Loki or Juggernaut. I don't find them as effective. And uh, some say the Helo Pilot isn't really that good in 
goes either but the key to it is using it on outdoorsy maps obviously you want to get a nice open map with not much cover not much places for the enemies to hide and uh, also i play ground war when i go over my high street so you'll see in this gameplay i'm playing 9v9 which is three more people to be able to kill and i think ghost plays really well on 9v9 it really fills out the large maps and makes it a lot more lively and there's a lot more people for you to kill and of course in ground war you only get big maps and uh, two of the best for helo pilots would have to be stonehaven and prison break for helo pilots they are very very good maps because there is barely anywhere to hide and uh, all the objectives all the spawn points they all tend to be outside so it's easy to get lots of kills and you can see in this gameplay i'm absolutely destroying everyone i'm getting so many kills i think i've got like 20 plus kills in both these helo pilots so on an open map against nine people you can rack up a lot of kills really quickly so here is the class all put together this is my best class setup to earn high assault streaks and one of my favorite things to do in ghost let me know what you think feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments of other class setups you want to see me make and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later Jump.